Well, this is getting to be a habit, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. It's Sally, Project Sally, 2013, day four. Um, I, I, I just thought, you know, it's a little dark in here still, but you see the sun's coming up. I have to go ramble in about an hour, so I have to go. But I, I thought, where are you going to go with this today, Sally? Your mind was like, you know, are you grasping for concepts? Are you seeking too hard? And the more I settle into this morning with my jar, um, you know, just I cannot encourage you enough to do this. Mm -hmm. If for nothing else, it helps you live intentionally in the moment to start your day and to live in the light of um, personal um, revelations for yourself, about yourself, things to be, the way things look, the way things... I, I can't explain to you where it sets yourself right for the day. Um, and all you have to do is start to see because everybody's version of what I'm doing would be different. Uh, but I've carved it out and it is... It's giving back to me a thousandfold what I put into it. Um, not having my butt in front of the computer first thing in the morning, but coming out here, although I did go on the computer for a minute, but I did come over here, and that's, that's where I sit. So anyway, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you for anyone who's bothering to check in. That's swell. But it's really, it's just so I don't forget. And I won't forget because I have multiple little pieces of paper in here already. The small piece of paper is good because then I can only write so much in a space and when it's done, the, the kernel of the thought is on that page and I can go back and pick them out one day when I need to lift and to remember, to just remember. So, today's revelation for myself was, I'm sitting out here and I see, I know you guys can see the way I live. Alright, do you see the layers of things in my, in my house, in my environment? As some people would call these dust collectors. I mean, even up to that, I've got those Christmas stars hanging from the uh, thing, which eventually will come down. But on my, I mean, I have, I know, it looks like hoarder central to some people. But I just made me grateful that this gives me pleasure. There's an aesthetic in what's around me. I'm glad, I'm very grateful that there's the way I am wired to be that I do have some sight that gives me pleasure to look around and see layer upon layer upon layer of things that give me joy to, 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 to cast my eyes across the room and see things that just enrich me, get, move my heart to feel full and um, happy. Much like walking outside, you think about it, um, Nature is not one-dimensional. Nature is not one layer. Nature is layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Um, much like when you, you look at art, there's a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. Well, so is life. Such is life. Such is my home, the way I like to have my stage set around me, an environment, a nest that I build that makes me feel, evokes good, warm feelings in me. It's the same thing I get from being outside. And that made me just, you know, I was just grateful. I'm grateful. You know, I might sometimes be really down on myself, and I really hate this. The, the dark side of myself, I hate. I hate it. I hate the lowest, smallest parts of me that make me a small, mean-spirited person. I hate that. I wish that would all die away. But when I can stop and think about the positive things about myself, and I don't, and I don't mean, when I say, you know, think about the good things about yourself, and that's what I want to encourage you to do today. Make a list of, of, of your very best qualities. And when I say qualities, I don't mean physical. I don't want to say, well, I've got nice teeth, and I've got pretty hair, and I've got a strong butt, you know, I've got a buff body. This is about inner qualities. You stop and you, th you think about some of the best qualities of humanity that you have inside of you. Make a little list and then be grateful because those are good things to embody, to embrace, to allow to flourish. And um, 
And today I was counting my blessings that I have an aesthetic for beauty, that I really value and appreciate things in the smallest ways, from the crack sidewalk, you know, weed, to uh, a masterpiece painting, to a sunset, to, you know, a shiny beetle in the dirt. It's, God made us all. We are all created to be. I want to say God. I don't want to offend anybody. And I, you know what? I want to apologize for using God. I, I call the divine creator God. I call him Father God. You can call him. I, I call him the uh, today as I was meditating. I said, you know, you really are just an elemental, an elemental spirit. I mean, and, 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 and please don't anybody be offended. Uh, this is not about offense. This is about me being who I am in the Bible. It, you know, and the spirit hovered over the earth, you know, in the, in the days when they, the, 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 talking about the creation of the world. And see, to me, I feel like I'm cleaning up my perspective on a lot of things. And one of the things is I see this, the divine spirit, the divine spark as an elemental. It's an elemental spirit from the beginning of, and however you want to identify that elemental spirit, go for it. But I feel like we were called into being and created um, um, we're um, wonderfully made and so to stop and figure out who you are and what you have to be grateful for who the way you were created to be live more and more into who you were created to be and that's not about doing that's about being and out of your being your doing will flow but it's not about saying well I'm really glad that I have this talent to be able to do that it's not about the doing it's about the being. Be who you were created to be. It doesn't mean do what you were created to do and achieve what you were created to achieve. It means be who you were created to be. Are you sitting and thinking, this is part, these are part of the little pieces of the puzzle that, that give me my uniqueness. This is who I was created to be in this little quality and that little quality and that little quality and those are good things to nourish and flourish. I thought about how crabby and crappy I've been over the holidays and depressed and I think about that as being down and just wallowing in the dirt and I didn't want to wallow in the dirt anymore and then I thought about dirt and I thought about how with what is dirt? That's one of the layers that's outside. The dirt, the darkness, the richness of the soil that, that comes only about decay and death because the soil is built up from things that the world sees as bad. Something dying and so it, it goes into the soil and disintegrates. The leaves, the bugs, the animals, whatever it is, the, the things they cut down from the yard that then, you know, disintegrate out. Any, but see, out of that death and that disintegration is a new life so being down in the dirt on one level or another can we can step out of that darkness out of that squalor out of that messiness um, out of that nutrient enriched base that came through pain and life lessons hard learned and difficult situations and step out and be more fully who we're created to be. Live out the life that comes forth from the darker places, the places we learn. And um, I just encourage you today to think about where did all that death and decay and darkness, it's not all bad, it was difficult. It's always difficult. But out of that, there's a lot of places you can step out into the light, stronger for it, more whole, more mindful. So live today. Um, embrace who you were created to be. Make a little list of some of your very best qualities that other people see in you that maybe you won't say to yourself. But really, truly look at yourself as a separate person and see some of the sweetest things about your your character and um, think on these things today and allow yourself to just walk more fully in them you guys take care have a great day and I'll see you when I see you